So, as you guys may be aware of, ATT just came with a recent update. This update has made a lot of people really sad because it's brought their percentage down. For me though, for me, the percentage went up. I am officially at 97%. <laughs> I feel so mean because like, People are legitimately upset about their percentage going down and I'm here chilling like, okay, well, I'm appearing the 97%. I did the update and I was like, whoa. So I'm not really sure exactly why my percentage didn't go down by 2% like you said other people have been suffering from. Uh, I do know that I think the uh, recent update included things like achievements where I am 99% in. It also included professions where I'm also 99% in. Uh, I'm not sure if crafted items is new. But I am 99% there as well. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the update. All right. A lot of people are very curious about my ATT settings. So I thought I would go through them and show you guys. First of all, in the general settings, make sure you have completionist mode off. Unless you want to farm the same appearance on like 10 different items. Which I know I don't want to do. <laughs> Uh, if you go into the account filters, I have some filters that remove some items from the list. I remove all the seasonal. I don't think the seasonal actually would affect my percentage at all, but I just find it annoying to have seasonal items in my list. I also remove all unobtainables that are no chance of obtaining. Uh, so things such as, you know, rewards from a quest that no longer exists or similar. But if we go back up to the basic options, we have a filter by known professions. I decide to do this because, well, for one, I can only have two professions on my character. And I don't really feel like farming recipes for all other professions all across my account. But it is an option if you're interested in that. Uh, I do still keep track of all craftable items from all different professions. And that happens under crafted items. So uh, recipes and items are now separate. So that's a good thing since the new update. So if we go back down again, yeah, so I've removed the unobtainables that have no chance. I, I let some of these things stay like the possible chance ones and the high chance ones. I let them be there. I don't filter them out. And I also filter away the legacy items. And I think these are legacy content. I think this is like from quest rewards and yeah, classic rewards and things like that. I just, um, there's no point keeping them because I will constantly see that I'm missing something, but I won't be able to get it. So it's pointless, right? Um, so yeah, those are my settings. Oh yeah, actually there's a few here too. In the mini list, if you scroll down, I would recommend first of all, removing neck, finger and trinket. I'm a warlock. So that means I actually don't have a lot of the weapons. I know this means that my total number is a lot lower than a lot of other people than, for example, hunters or warriors. Uh, but that's my class, you know, I can't... I'm sorry. <laughs> Warlock is and has always been my main and that's not gonna change. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing. Just, just remember to remove neck, finger and trick it because those are not interesting. You can't get transmog for those. Yeah, recipes is the new thing. Some people will remove them because they don't have recipes on their character. I keep it because, well, I, I've been farming recipes on my character as well, so it's no problem. And I think that's it. I think that's it in terms of interesting settings. Instead of the percentage dropping, it actually rised. <laughs> Did I say rised? No, now we have to redo it. <laughs> Wait, this entire time you didn't even see my game, my gameplay. I can't make a YouTube video talking about ATT when you can't even see my game. Ah. <sighs>